Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to fixing up the Commonwealth. I hope you're well. We're back at the slog today and we're going to work on this particular area here where all the people are frozen. So let's get that fixed all up, get them moving and we can start doing some work in this area. Here we go, we're in the build menu, you beauty. Okay, so first thing I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to move a few of these crops around or get rid of them. Because I want to build in here, but this line here I, want, I can't use that because of the way the building works. So I'll try and move these around. I think I end up just storing them in the end because it just doesn't doesn't want to play ball. Apologise for the little bit of traffic noise today. The um, the bins are getting picked up, so we got the the uh, lorry run, running up and down the street picking up all the bins so we're going to use the warehouse tab today pretty much exclusively not going to put a floor in I'm going to leave that floor natural kind of inspired there he goes again kind of inspired by um gray gardens to a point with this but i'm going to do something a bit special pretty straightforward kind of idea and um, again what i struggled a little bit with was okay i'm just going to put this kind of structure in how can i make it look a little bit different and you'll see how i do it as we go through so i'm going to mix up um these pieces with the metal in them together with um other pieces that come with um with workshop rearranged and you'll see what i mean in a while so i'm at this point i'm just trying to figure out kind of the length of it how it's all going to work and um, you can see these pieces are pretty good they snap together and i use a kind of combination of these glass pieces and the warehouse walls and it, it actually works very very nicely um, and i'd encourage you to try and do this is just to vary these up at certain intervals so it takes me a while to figure out kind of what the flow needs to be and how many of these kind of closed walls how many the glass walls i need to add but we get there in the end now i do make a bit of a mistake here and um, i have to address it a little bit later now one of the big things if you're going to do something similar here at the slog is just keep an eye on how the uh, settlers are actually using the area where they transition through to etc because um, you're going to have to set your doorways you can see I add a couple of these as well. You're going to have to set your doorways so that they still path okay in this area because if you don't, they're going to again just get stuck on walls and do all kinds of silly stuff. So that one there, you'll see in a second, I've made it a little bit too long. And you'll see why in a sec. Even though it's straight, um, for some reason it's not going to snap into uh, that wall. So I think, oh, oh, that's all right, it's okay, I'll just shorten it up, I'll put a shorter wall in there, she should be right, um, that also doesn't work, so you can see it's kind of sitting on that foundation a little bit, and um, so I try and snap it there, and it's fighting me, nothing seems to be working, it's, you know, it, it will not snap, oh, hang on, there we go, so there we go, we get to snap, okay, we're, we're good, we're running, nah. It's, it, the second one won't snap so I actually have to end up taking this out and these are the little things that kind of challenge you when you're building um, yeah, see that's not going to snap there so I'm going to have to scrap that idea and come up with an alternative so I think okay well that's that's alright we'll just recess it back a little bit more by you know half a step so I'll get this half wall in snap that and everything should snap now then it creates another problem you'll see what I'm talking about in a sec not that one <laughs> not that problem I don't know why some of the walls do that sometimes so I'm going la da 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 okay we'll start snapping those in no problem but then what will happen is that these people will start um, working through the wall weirdly enough because of that kind of strip of carrots that are in front of us. And again, here's another way that you can vary up the look a little bit. I'll put these little kind of horizontal half walls in and it, it varies up the look. And this is always a challenge to try and vary up the look a little bit. You see I'm 
that's what I do a lot. I try to I kind of build it, I look at it, I go, yeah, okay, I need to balance that. And always, symmetry is a big thing when you're building, um, and that's what I've done here. I've kind of spaced out those um, windows on that left-hand side so that it looks symmetrical to a point. So we'll continue just to chuck these walls in and um, we'll back in a sec. So I'll go for the double doors, one at each end, just to make sure that those settlers are going to path okay. That's looking alright so far. I do get, uh, you'll see in a second, this is where the problems start to come in because if you're observant and you've built in Fallout for a while, you'll know that I'm about to have a drama with the roof. And um, this is something I should know better than because yeah, it's not the first time I've had the problem. But yeah, slow learner sometimes. So what I'm going to do on this building, I'm going to actually do two separate roofs. So there's going to be one going one way and one going the other. And it actually works out really, really nicely. I, I, you'll see in the final tour, um, it does really enhance the building. So... We're going along nicely. I think, oh, that's great. Yeah, everything's working out fantastic. Look, we'll do that and we'll pop the other one in there and then we'll start to put the roofs on. Have you fixed, have you picked the problem yet? You will in a sec. It's got to do with that half wall. And um, what I wanted to do, I, I wanted to do something. I've, I've been playing around before that 76 and roofs specifically to see if I could do something a little bit different with the look, oh, oh, there you go, there's the issue there, hmm, hmm, it's an easy sol solution, it's actually an easy solution, we just need to shorten up the wall, but it just means I have to rejig re some stuff, um, yeah, I've been playing around with some of the roofs in Fallout 76 at the moment, just to see if I can do something a little bit different, and give it a little bit different look, because like I said a couple of weeks ago, I think that the, all the buildings in Fallout 76 look very, very similar and um, you know, therefore you've got to try and figure out some things that might give you a, a point of difference. So you can see I'm going to have this, I'm going to have this problem. I needed kind of a half slanted roof. I haven't got one. Ooh, what can we do? So the, the answer is real simple. We're just going to have to take that half wall up, uh, push that across, push all the walls across and then the, it, the wall will work. So we'll come back once I've got this all kind of buttoned up. So there you go, we're, we're all fixed up. It does present us with a little bit of pathing problem in as much as now that now there is a um, part of that um, growing area sitting outside, outside the warehouse as, as such or the greenhouse and um, therefore you know, the settlers that were assigned to the food that were in that row of carrots will continue to work. And you, you probably just copped a little bit of a glance. See this person here to the right still thinks there's food there. And um, so it is a little bit of a problem. But what I do is actually reassign them and it, it fixes the problem a little bit. So it's coming along swimmingly. I don't know if you can hear the rain. We have got a big mega storm coming into Sydney today. Um, they're predicting a month's worth of rain in a day and high winds and all kinds of stuff. So if you can hear that noise on the mic, that's what you're hearing. So this is coming along nicely. I'm going to put a roof on here if I can find the pieces, these pieces here. Um, strangely enough, they don't snap and then suddenly I get them to snap. So, oh. They always weirdly snap the wrong way around. But anyway, there's one piece that snaps like that. I go, okay. Snap that to that end. That's easy. We'll just put a flat piece in the middle. So, again, when you're building, um, do what I'm about to do. Snap them in. You feel like it's right up here. Go and have a look down on the ground just to see if it works for you. For me, it doesn't work. That gap looks from the outside doesn't look right, so I need to fix that. I encourage you to do that. I like to leave a lot of these uh, things in where I do struggle a bit. I think 
you know, as, when I was starting at um, building in Fallout 4, those are the videos that I used to watch that used to help me a lot with my building, is, is the troubleshooting part of um, builds. And it's really the one that, that challenges you the most. So we need to get that in. I'm going to have to persuade that in because it's, for some reason, it's not going to snap in there. I'll try that bit and say, well, maybe we can snap that one in there like that. It's not going to go. So I'm going to have to position it and then I'll put another one on the other end and it should all line up perfectly. Weirdly enough, this there there is a little bit of a problem with that snapping and i don't understand why because they're all the same size pieces but place it anywhere to the rescue and just a little bit of jiggling to be done and we'll get it into position it takes a little bit of time to get it just right but again it's up on the roof beat so what i see and what kind of annoys me you probably know what to see from the ground to try and line it up. You see there's still a gap there for some reason but anyway I don't think you're going to really notice it too much. Make sure the line is right on the roof. Hop down and just see the difference. Yeah I like it much much better if I wasn't stuck on something. There we go. And I think it works with the church that we made the other week uh, with the barn pieces. So here is the challenge. How can I make this roof look different to that roof? And so I use these kind of corner pieces and send this roof in a slightly different configuration and different um, direction. And this is pretty simple to do. Boy oh boy, it is absolutely teeming with rain at the moment. Okay, so one, two, three, four. I'm going to have to move those um, ladders across and do the same so see that's a little bit of a lower roof and so i think it does work um, quite nicely and what i'm going for here is trying to make it look as though it actually should be here and um, like i said in the start i want or, or in a previous video i want to make this look I want to build fairly simply here, but also make it look as though it should be here. So, last piece is the center um, piece. Now, I'm looking around, I'm going, yeah, these are okay, but it's not quite making the statement. So, actually go to um, put a roof on, maybe like that could work. That's almost like the Louvre. And then I come across this piece and say, no, that's the piece I need. And it actually ties in nicely with the piece that's on the church, on the kind of steeple on the church. So um, we have to actually, it won't, it won't, it will snap everywhere except where I want it to snap. But that's okay because I can just ease it into place. With the place anyway. So I'm drinking coffee. Still early in the morning for me, so I'm still trying to wake up and do commentary. Here we go. So we'll, we'll chuck that in. Just make sure it's reasonably straight, which it's not. Always check your angles when you're building, especially in Fallout 4, because they tend to be a bit weird. And I think that works very nicely. So let's hop down and just have a look at this. And take the take the ladders away so we can see the whole thing. You don't need those anymore. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So basically the rest of this build is going to be about, um, is really going to be about decoration. So we will come back once I've got it all decorated and you can see what happens in the final tour. So here you go. This is what we end up. I like the look at it. I like how it works with that church. It really does kind of complement it. I think it's possibly that roof on the first part of it. And it's, it, it, I don't know, it just seems to work for me. Maybe you disagree, agree, I don't know. Anyway, let's have a good look around. We've got a little bit of water pump. I've been very kind of um, conscious of what I've put in here as far as um, decoration. Like I said, it's very much inspired by Grey Gardens to a point. And uh, what's the other one? It has the large... Um, the large greenhouse I can't remember it for the time being I'm sure you'll leave a comment down below and remind me um, no I'm in the cage just had to do it 
I've got to work a little bit on the uh, defensive walls at the back there now. But, um, yeah. Here's a real easy way of... And you don't... Hi, Deirdre, how you doing? You don't need much in the way of decoration here to make this look really, really effective. Um, used quite a bit of... What is dog meat? doing hi mate how you doing you're stuck um creative clutter mostly uh, a few other mods that i've used here combined them workshop rearranged being one just combined a whole lot of stuff in here that should possibly be in here that or it makes sense to be in here i guess obviously you want to synthesize anything you need a chemistry bench i did a few mutt fruit in here as well like I said, I reassigned some of the settlers to the food, and we're good. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for joining us on Fixing Up the Commonwealth, and we'll catch you next time on the channel. See ya!